Hello, everybody. Andrea Maeska here with Dental Health Tutoring. I have a list here of a couple things to talk about because it's been about a week since I've done a video on YouTube. And um, I'm going to talk about the first thing that a lot of people have either sent me emails or messages and that have asked me to talk about it. So I've been in the dental profession for about 14 years now, so almost 14 years. And a lot of students or potential students, even people who are in school, um, almost graduating, they ask, is dental hygiene something that I should be getting into? They might be saying that they heard from this and this and this person that it's not a very good career and now they're worried they're in their last semester of college and they're thinking, oh my goodness, what did I get myself into? I've had um, potential students looking into the program, but then they hear stories from other dental professionals not to get into it. Um, if you join any group on Facebook, I'm part of the Dental Hygiene Network. There's one that's called um, RDH um, Rant. Um, Ontario um, Dental Hygiene Network, um, which I am the admin of. There's just tons of them, right? But as with anything, you will have the negative Nancy's, so the negative um, dental hygienist, and you will have the positive ones. But if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I am honest. So let me tell you honestly things that I have learned. I have some good things, some some bad things, um, you know, some not some not nice things. I do have some advice for you. I do have kind of why I'm in my career path now. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you guys everything. I mean, not everything because that would take three hours probably, and you guys don't want to hear a three-hour video. But I'm going to summarize it. Okay, so all in all, the question everybody's asking is, should you get into the dental hygiene career? Yes, you should. It's an amazing career. Now, granted, depending on where you live, you might not make as much per hour as some other um, dental hygienists in other areas. I'm a good example of that. I used to live in London, Ontario, and now I live in Kitchener, and I literally make $10 more per hour where I'm living now. That's a big step. That can make a difference for anybody right even making five dollars per hour more than what you're used to is huge right so yes it does depend on where you live uh, of how much you get paid I have been a restorative hygienist, I believe, for about three years now, maybe four actually. And where I live, that's not a very common thing. So I don't utilize my restorative hygiene skills as much as I would like. But to be a dental hygienist in Kitchener is huge. In fact, we need more. We need more dental hygienists. I'm part of a dental hygiene group on Facebook, um, Kitchener Temps. Um, so temp dental hygienists and temp dental assistants where offices every day several offices are looking for a temp hygienist because their hygienist called in sick they're looking to add another column to their schedule whatever and there's just not enough of us out there I could work full-time easily if I wanted to but I don't want to I could easily work every single day because there are so many offices out there looking for a good um, dental hygienist and I say good because we find um, and I say we as you know all of us that it's just harder to find a hygienist out there these days that have a good work ethic and that's me being honest okay so again it depends on who you talk to if you ask anybody so should I become a hygienist is this a, a good career choice if you talk to the hygienist who's always late who hates her job, who hates her patients, she will tell you it's a horrible career, right? And no office wants to hire her, so yeah, she might be having a bad experience because she might work in one office, they let her go after they realize she's showing up late, she's calling in sick, she's not good with patients, she doesn't like cleaning teeth, who knows, right? So if you talk to that hy um, hygienist, of course she'll tell you it's a horrible career and no office wants you because no office wants her or him. Um, if you talk to the hygienist like me, who loves what I do, I work part-time, 
Um, I used to be actually a, a temp hygienist as of three months ago, and I loved it. I loved being able to just go to different offices. There's no politics involved. They're so happy to see me because I'm usually helping out somebody, right? Because somebody called in sick, they're taking holidays, so they're always happy to see me. You tend to get paid a little bit more as a temp because you are showing up on short notice. As a temp, you don't get, you know, holiday pay, sick days, benefits, anything. So it makes sense to be paid a little bit more. And you know what? I loved it. But I found this amazing office that needed a, you know, a permanent hygienist two days a week. That's it. And they did ask me to work for them. So I said, okay, that actually sounds perfect. Because for me, all I wanted was two days a week at the most. Um, but having that said, I, um, I work for another amazing office every other Friday because I love it there. Um, so yeah, so I love what I do. I love it. I tutor full time. Um, so that's kind of my main focus is that I do tutor full time. But um, let me just rewind. So I did um, tutor like full time, full time, I'd say a year ago, but I found that I missed doing dental hygiene. So that's why I now work twice a week and every other Friday. I love it. That's what suits me. So the nice thing about the dental hygiene profession is that you can work as little or as much as you want. I could easily work, you know, full time 10 hour days if I wanted to because they need dental hygienists. But I'm also fine working two days a week every other Friday and nobody's mad at me for working less, for not working enough. You know, there's no such thing as, you know, you working full time in an office and then them and then me saying, okay, well I want to work only two days a week they wouldn't go for that, right? So I like being able to be flexible. So that's why I became a temp actually, so that I could be flexible and tutor full time. But then I just found such two such amazing offices that I just love them. So yes, dental hygiene is an amazing career. It does depend on where you live though. Heck, we all need to make money. There are cities out there that pay you a lot less for doing the same thing. There are cities, countries, states, whatever, that pay you a lot more for doing the same thing. So it does depend on where you live. But don't let anybody tell you that this is a bad profession. There's no um, jobs out there. Don't let anybody tell you that. Because even if, yes, that's true, where you live now, there's just not a lot out there then you know what? Move. Move. Honestly, if you don't want to move, then you don't really want to be a dental hygienist, do you? Really? Um, but again, you guys, I am speaking from where I live. Around here, I'd say up to three hours away, four hours away, because I can't really speak to past that because I don't know. Um, we need dental hygienists. We need us out there who want to work full-time, part-time. It doesn't matter. You can pick and choose. Um, so yes, it's a great profession. I have been doing this now for almost 14 years and I love it. So that's the main thing that I wanted to talk about is, you know, when students ask me, well, is dental hygiene a good career to get into? So actually I was going to talk about other things too, but I think I'm going to stop the video now. I'm going to make another one like right now, just talking about things that I have learned over the past 14 years. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly, the amazing things that I love about the profession and things that I don't love about the profession, but that's life. There are things you love about your life. There are things you don't love. We don't love having to work all day every day, but we love having enough money to be to be able to take holidays, to be able to afford the things we want, right? So there's always give and take, always. But I'll talk more about that in my next video. So I'll I, I'll um I'll stop this one for now. But please, um, comment below with your thoughts. You know, whether you're a a um a student who still has questions whether you're a dental hygienist now saying yeah no i don't really like this profession or i love it and this is why let us all know so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon because i'm going to make another video like right now so i will see you guys very very soon thank you so much for watching